Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. And then with the next breath, and then the next. You're trying to develop a good, solid foundation, so try to be as continuous as possible in your alertness and your mindfulness. It's this ability to make your decisions and to make them stick. That's what allows you to depend on yourself. We live in this world, we're born, in the beginning we depend on our parents, and then we find that more and more we can depend on ourselves. But still there are a lot of things inside the mind that require that we keep leaning on other people. And sometimes they're there for us, and sometimes they're not. So we realize we've got to develop these qualities from within. And they're good qualities. Persistence, endurance, compassion for yourself, and then that starts spreading out to others. These are good qualities of the heart. Because when we're training the mind, it's not just the mental activity, the, the ability to think. It's also training good qualities in the heart. In the Buddhist tradition, in most of the different cultures where Buddhism has gone, the, word, the names for the mind and the heart tend to get blurred. In other words, they become one. It started out that way, and in Pali, citta means both heart and mind. And so we're developing both the heart and the mind here. The mind's ability to analyze, and the heart's ability to want something that's good. Realizing that goodness here doesn't mean just good for yourself. If it's really going to be good, the goodness has to spread around. This is why the foundations for meditation are generosity and virtue. Ways in which you help other people and you don't harm them. You have to use your intelligence to figure out how not to harm and how to help. So you've got, you've got your mind and your heart working together. And it's when they work together that they both develop. So where do they develop? They start right here, right at the breath. Try to put your heart into this and put your mind into this. And you find that the breath gets better, the mind gets better, the heart gets better. They nourish one another. So try to keep them together as you go through the day. That way they can continue to grow. And the meditation doesn't just become a little time out, but it becomes part of your whole life. <laughs>